Hey, Ray Moses here. I'm with my buddy Mike, and uh, we're out on a remote pasture where I'm running out of surface water, and uh, I'm hand digging a well. Let me show you what I got here. Okay, so using a hand post hole digger with some three quarter pipe extensions and turning down there at about about five or six feet I hit water. I want to get down at least 10 feet. Basically what I've ran into now is went down about four, four and a half feet and hit water. Once I hit water, I'm having trouble getting too, too much deeper. I'm down about six feet and the water is rising in the hole. Like probably, uh, probably about four feet underneath that water right now is the bottom of the hole i'd like to get deeper but once i got into the water uh the hole's just wallowing out i'm taking material out which is a fine textured sand and some stone uh, but i can't get that hole any it seems getting wider but not deeper so i don't know if i'm deep enough or not okay so i'm back uh, a couple days later at my well uh i spent yesterday uh, wiring in the uh, control unit let me show you what I got okay so I put in a larger panel it's a 290 watt panel got it for like about a buck a watt brought out this little cabinet so I've got a Morningstar 20 amp charge controller so I put a bigger charge controller uh, I have a timer 12 volt DC timer uh, I bought it from the same guy that sells the Nemo pumps in Maine and yeah, just a uh, lead acid deep cycle battery. I'm test running the well now. As you can see, I put the casing down there, four inch PVC casing. I cut some slits in it to let water in and then I put some filter cloths around it. I'm gonna backfill this in. Uh, a buddy of mine does well drilling, so I put it in with sand as a filter. I want to keep kind of an open cavity because it's such a shallow well so I can keep up with groundwater recharge. I've got some stone I'm going to put in there. Um, so I'm seeing basically I got to get the water level down in there if I can so I can dig deeper because before I was pulling the auger up through about four feet of water and a lot of my material was falling off of my auger. Here's my auger bit that I'm using. So test running that I got a flow rate of about two and a half gallons a minute I'll show you that's that's flowing pretty good right now I don't got a tank out here yet but um, I'm gonna see if this thing will run dry or if it keeps up I'm only about six and a half feet down which is not very far fortunate enough I am in a wetland like a swamp area so water levels pretty uh, high I talked to an old timer that grew up in this area said so their house well was only about 10 or 11 feet deep. What happens is so the static pressure is up just so it's only a couple feet deep. Uh, the static pressure is just the ground pressure pushing water into this cavity and now the well once you turn it on sucks it down to what I believe is where the actual groundwater level is which is probably down there about five feet. So. I didn't run the well enough yet. I'm running the pump now to see if it will run dry or if the groundwater, uh, the water table at that depth keeps up with the pumping, which is about two and a half gallons per minute. Because uh, my feeling is I feel a lot more comfortable be down about three or four months. So I just dug a tiny depression here in the ground and uh, I want to kind of set a water tank down in a depression uh have it low enough where the calves can drink uh but i tell you what you would not believe or some of you probably would believe the root system on this reed canary grass that grows here it makes digging you would think the soft peat there's about a foot of peat here you'd think it'd be easy to dig man it is if you don't have roots so i'm thinking about letting the cattle muck this up for a few days create a depression here and then setting the tank down in here okay took 20 minutes and it ran dry so i've got to lift this out and i'm going to start digging hopefully with water down i can get some some uh, depth 